So I woke up a little bit late this morning, but I finished packing up camp and closing the tent. It's now quarter past six and I'm gonna get on going, making my way past Shingwetsi, um, check a few viewpoints along the way, and then I'm gonna end up at Lataba tonight. Um, yeah, Puna Maria camp is amazing. Like the elephants were busy here the whole night. They, oh, I don't know, the trumpet sounds and them feeding in the bush, like it felt like, it felt really, really wild, but it was amazing, I loved it. So yeah, I made a, a quick cup of coffee just to start the day. Today is gonna be a good day. So this morning is pretty overcast, it's 21 degrees. I'm really, really excited to see what this day holds in store for me. And I hope I get some epic, epic sightings. Um, I'm gonna make my way down to a viewpoint called the Dudini viewpoint, I think. Because I don't have a lot of time here um, in the far north um, area, I wanna get in as much scenery and see as much of the place as possible so i'm gonna take the trip up there because i see it's on an elevation so i think it could be quite a cool spot to stop They were so active, it was almost impossible to get a shot of them. I'm not exactly sure what the Duduini viewpoint is because if you get up here it's only I don't know like a cell phone tower with solar power panels and yeah not much of a viewpoint although I think if we go back down we are very high so I think we're gonna have some very very cool views Up 
walked over a, a bridge on a dry riverbed and these storks have realized that in a small pool of water there's a tiny amount of small fish left and you can actually see them searching for the fish and catching it. Check this out. I know I said it last time, but I'm gonna say it again. This is a pretty impressive view. So definitely make sure that you stop here on your way to Pundo or Shinguetsi or just drive up here from Litabo or whatever. It's really worth it. It's an amazing, amazingly beautiful place, this. started wearing a hat again I'm actually a guy that is never without a hat but on this trip I forgot all my hats I packed zero so I got one from the park store Kruger National Park hmm. Guys, so I'm passing the Tropic of Capricorn in the Kruger National Park. There's a, a line across the road that lets you know that you're passing through it. An interesting fact about the Tropic of Capricorn, for those of you that didn't know, um, it's only once a year, on or about the 21st of December, I think, that the sun's rays hits the earth vertically. So, yeah. Uh, only once a, uh, once a year and it is on that day that the southern hemisphere has the start of summer. Arms open. 
open wide with a life to call our own Obviously, for me, no Latava stop is ever worth it if I do not first stop on the Latava River Bridge. It stays one of my favorite places in the Kruger Park. I'm going to spend a bit of time over here and see if that herd of elephant over there maybe decides that they want to come have a drink. I can see a fish eagle, but it's very far away. A few crocodiles. And water buck on this side. Man, can't all Wednesdays be like this?